What's up everyone? This month of August is pouring with excitement. We're talking about the biggest nerd news of the week. And to top it off, we have a very special guest today. One of the fan favorite comics of Draw Inc. is coming its way to you. This, this is Draw Inc. Weekly. Quick, we need to hide. Wait, what's going on? We're being attacked by all this fan art submitted to at Draw Inc. CSB on Instagram. Oh no. They're here. Phew! That was close. But they'll be back. Probably next week. <laughs> Based on the comic book series for Gerard Way, yes, that Gerard Way, the hit original Netflix series The Umbrella Academy just released their latest season on their streaming service. The show currently has an 82% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I can't wait to see more indie comics get their name on the spotlight. There is no time for indie comics, Rally! DC is about to hold the biggest event of the year online, but you get my point. DC Comics is hosting a one-day only event called DC Fandom. This event will be taking place exclusively online and open to the public. We'll be getting new announcements on their latest projects, surprises from guest stars, and so many trailers. Wonder Woman 84, Robert Pattinson is Batman, the Snyder Cut. I need to see these now, Riley, now! DC, why must you make me wait? <laughs> In other depressing news, we would like to give our condolences to Netflix. The Avatar Last Airbender series has been announced dead on arrival. Because why do you guys have to mess things up? Michael Dante DiMartino, the creator of Avatar The Last Airbender, released a public statement regarding his involvement with the upcoming live action adaptation of the beloved Nickelodeon cartoon. He states that he would be stepping away from the project due to some creative differences, which we all heard that one before. And we all know how that turned out last time. It's time for you to stop doing this! What did you think of Umbrella Academy Season 2? Are you guys desperately waiting for DC News? Only to be swallowed by the eternal black hole of waiting for more content and news to be released, which inevitably and ultimately starts the cycle over again. And again, 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 and again. And what did you think of the Netflix live-action Avatar The Last Airbender series? Are you gonna watch it? Cause I'm not. Our boss is finally in the house. What's up, CJ? What's going on? Oh, you know, Kerjack's release. Bro, it's coming out, it's coming out. How you feel, man? I'm feeling great. What's up, CJ? Riding along with us, we also have the writers Carl and Ben. And of course, David, the artist behind Kerjack. CJ, why don't you take us through Kerjack? So basically, Kerjack is a story about I mean, Kerjack Downtime is basically a story about Kerjack's downtime. <laughs> basically, it's what he does when he's not doing the big crime fighting, you know? When he's like chilling on top of rooftops, watching the city go by, kicking ass, all that shit. That's what he does during the downtime. Because Kerjack is a, it's a very complex story. Not really, but it's complex in the way that it started with short films. Even with that, I still plan on bringing him back to uh, to games and even back to the films. But right now, Kerjack downtime, baby. David, Kerjack has gotten a lot of hype since the trailer came out. What would you say was the favorite thing you've done with the character? Um, I think when I'm drawing in general, the fun thing is I'm not only bringing a character to life but I'm also taking cues from real life to put a character in onto paper. So like taking features from CJ, like getting his eyebrows right or getting his eye shape right, like that's fun since I have to animate him or make him do different facial expressions and stuff. I think that's the best kind of challenge when I'm drawing for Kerjack. Can I just ask you David, when you're trying to make Kerjack do some really cool stuff, you have to ask CJ to take pictures of himself. <laughs> I didn't. Um, I think that was part of the challenge also. Like, I wanted to get myself to 
like actually know him like know the guy and like see him act in real life and then just sort of like keep it in my head and then when i'm in front of the paper like just put it onto paper make him jump make him like punch and kick and all of that stuff i think that's the fun part of it carl and benz you both are known to be the writers for kirk jack and we, although we know that cj is primarily the creator for kirk jack we all know that the engineering to the storytelling is really on you. So what would you say is your most favorite thing you've ever written in Kirk Jack? I really enjoyed, you know, writing Kirk Jack downtime because uh, basically CJ kind of approached me and sort of told me that he wanted to do like just a bit of a side story, something to help accentuate Kirk Jack's uh, character. And what better way to show off someone's character than to show what they're doing when they're not doing the whole superheroics? You know what 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 they would do in their own break. You know because of course even though superheroes are you know they're super they're still people too. So you know they still have to take breaks. They still gotta like go out and you know take some time for themselves. So yeah, definitely for me to be her check down. First of all, I think there should be some clarifications. Uh, Carl wrote the outline of the story, the general summary of Kerjack Downtime, but I wrote the script and I translated what he wrote, what he and CJ wrote, and I translated that into a whole script. So the technicalities of all those things written that David had to work with were all, um, I like to say, were all technically written by me. I think the favorite part that I had was were the funny moments where Kerjack was, you know, Kerjack is this confident and strong character that we, he, that, you know, CJ tries to portray. And I know CJ very much, you know, he's one of my best friends. And, and Kerjack, there was this part in Kerjack where he was beating up the bad guys, Assassin's Creed style. He's hiding and then whap hack, whap hack, whap hack. And each whap hack he had, after that, he made this a funny gesture that, what was that? That sort of thing. And I think that was the funniest thing that, th that was the part that I really enjoyed writing because it's not often that you see a hero, dark-ish vigilante type hero, like let's say daredevil-ish type of character do something funny. And I think that was my, that was my favorite one. Before we end, would you guys like to give a shout out to where the beautiful fans of Draw Inc. could find you? You can always find me on my art account on Instagram. It's DobcatcherArt or at DobcatcherArt on Instagram. Um, definitely since I learned a lot of dynamic poses and really just how to make a comic with Kerjack. So I guess expect more like animated uh, comic style stuff. And but that's exciting since this, this body of work really made me want to work some more. And if you can't find me there, I am your art head. So just DM me in the GC or whatever and show me your art. Yeah. As you all know, I'm not just a writer, I'm also an artist. Um, like my page, Ben's Go, I'm going to post comics set there soon. It's gonna come out real soon, and we're also working on something for Joink right now. Just shout out to my own scripts. Currently, we're already working on Where the Sunflower Weeps, which is a romance story. Puntahan nyo naman, mga kaibigan. Puntahan nyo mga artists, tingnan nyo. And nagtagalog na ako. So, <laughs> the stories are Love Faith, Welcome to Fusion Incorporated, or Arcadia. White Shadow, and a horror story that I'm working on. So, that's all. Thanks. Oh, yo, yo. So, basically, you know, you know, my baby, New Rising Entertainment. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, Patreon, if you want to support me. Kofi, if you also want to support me. Twitch, you want to see me do games. Uh, New Rising is a platform where you help me create or produce music, movies, comics, art, anything art related, entertainment. We don't have the budget. <laughs> Stay tuned for New Rising Entertainment. Uh, Herjack42, follow me on Instagram. Follow me wherever, like my pages and all that. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support and for buying my merch when there's merch. All hail drawing, baby. It goes without saying that Perk Jack is gonna be one epic comic book series for sure. Thank you so much, you guys, for staying here and having a chat with us. It's a pleasure for us, Draw It Weekly, to be able to interview you guys. As always, keep posted in all things Draw Inc. and Kurt Jack's big release by following us on Facebook and Instagram at Draw Inc. CSV. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment what you're most excited for. I'm Riley. I'm Aaron. We'll see you next week.